Satsuma Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to chain sew. When you have multiple items that you'd like to sew quickly and efficiently, this is a really great technique to keep in mind. I will only be back tacking on my first and last um, seam because I'm making face masks where I will be able to secure the seams. You, of course, can back tack on each, but I have an electric um, cutter, so I won't be doing that in order to uh, properly demonstrate. So I've turned on my machine. Before that, I've double checked that my thread is properly um, threaded throughout. My bobbin thread is ready to go. I have a few tools at hand, so let's get started. I'm going to be folding over, um, in industrial sewing, we don't use pins. I'm just gonna be folding over um, approximately quarter inch here on my masks, and I'm going to begin by lifting my presser foot. I'll drop my presser foot and I'll begin sewing. Making sure I have any extra threads tucked in. I'm going to be edge stitching for this project and so you can see how I do that as well, using the presser foot as my guide. I'm going to prepare my other elements on my lap so that I can easily pull them up when ready. As I approach the end of this mask, I slow down. I'll grab my second one, fold over a quarter inch twice, and be ready to go. Feed my fabric right under my presser foot, lifting if necessary, and continuing to edge sew throughout. Again, I'll slow down as I approach the end, pull my next one, and you can see why it's called chain sewing, as all of these items are attached together. Afterwards, we'll separate them with our snips, and we'll be finished. So here I am approaching the end of my project. I'm going to back tack and finish that. Now I'll take my pair of snips to release each face mask, and now I'm ready to go. All right, everyone, that is chain sewing. It makes sewing very efficient when you're working with multiple items. See you next time.